areas rain is in. And now Talita seems to be in. Field in line for the port more they're off and running. Areas rain. All for love. They came off slow. Mamamir has speed and produces it early as they run down the back stretch toward the six. The Duracell under a tight brain chases. Utilicious now moving through runners. Epic is racing on the rail. Thalita just on the outside. Four lengths separates that group. A length and a piece back to Savvy Girl. Princess Sharon joining and running the rail. A gap of five or more to She's My Hedge Fund. They leave the five. Showgirl races down against the fence as they make their way now toward the half mile, making some ground that's all for love. Behind those, and racing toward the back of the field, as they have left the half mile and make their way now toward the 7-16th, beginning to make some progress, that's Brown Skin Girl, moving ahead of Showgirl fading. Arias Rain also asked to make late progress, and Galley Galley links toward the back of the field as they go thundering past the 5-16th, and it is Mamma Mia on the lead. Here now is Bootylicious, the unbeaten one, kicking in on the outside, Mamma Mia fighting off Bootylicious. Thalita now asked to produce a run down on the rail, may have to be switched off it. It's Mamma Mia, Bootylicious, and Thalita running all over the place, swerving as if drunk as they're arriving at the quarter pole, Mamma Mia. And here now on the rail, that is Thalita kicking in late, and Thalita now kicks in and grabs the lead. This is the Portmore. It is Salita beginning to run away from them on the devastating Dane Dawkins. Salita wins by five or more of a Mamma Mia. Then Arias Rain, a brown skinned girl, and Bootylicious. Right away, we have a Stewards Inquiry. Please hold all tickets. There is a Stewards Inquiry. Hold all tickets, Stewards Inquiry. In the winner's enclosure, the unofficial winner of the Portmore, number 13, Thalita, a three-year-old chestnut filly by Soul Warrior, Luminous Trieste by Eddington, Red Wilbert Bagwan Dean, Old Carlton Watson, trained Jason Da Costa, his fourth win, the rider, Dane Dawkins. The second nine, Mamma Mia, so Jason has the exacta.
Third, five, Arias Rain. Fourth, six, Brown Skin Girl. Fifth, seven, Bootylicious. Running time, 1,500 meters, 134 and 2. Nothing like the winner's circle after a feature race. And as I said in the previous race, for a man who doesn't like interviews, you're going to have to stop winning feature races. My third with you for the day, Jace. Thanks for your insight earlier on. Congratulations. Thank you. Very Thank you. nice filly, the leader. Thank you. Lovely. So what are we going to say? You said it said previously it improved five lengths. Looking at the yard and after the race, gee, she's a lovely looking filly. Yes, yes. Well, we always had high hopes for her um, in the back end of last season. She had a few little niggling issues that we dealt with. You know, we gave her a little rest and brought her back. And she, you know, she was a much improved filly um, this season. You know, she'll be working lights out. So uh, I'm expecting good things from her. And when you say niggling injuries, were they just, or niggling issues, just growing pains and giving yeah, a bit just of time to grow into the itself? The sore shins and yeah, some minor stuff. But, uh, you know, we, we dealt with it. Um, after the big race in, in December and um, gave her a little rest and she's come back great. And she has got a bit of growing because she is a good size. She, yes. You've got a lot of scope with her to work with as we get into the uh, into the real meat of the season. Yes, yeah. No, um, hopefully she keeps on and, uh, and healthy and continues to improve and, you know, she'll have a decent shot in the classics. Na and naturally as the races get longer she looks the right shape of horse to move up in distance. You're confident as we go up in distance we'll see it keeping on improving? Yeah I think so. I, I think so. I, you know this race really shows that she looks like she'll get a, a distance of ground. Um, so we'll keep our fingers crossed and, and hope for the best. It's an exciting crop of three-year-olds. Congratulations on being on it. And you have to mention it again like the previous feature race. It was one, two and almost three for the, the Costa Stable. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Well, it's been a good day, you know, I have to be thankful for days like this. Lovely. Well, your horses are looking great, Jason. You're training them sensationally. Like, you just don't even need to look at your horse's parade because you know how they're going to look, and that's sensational. A lot, of that, a lot of that is shown on the track. Congratulations and well done. All right, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Jason. Thank we'll you very be speaking much. to you soon, mate. Right. You can't hide. That's Jason DeCosta, champion trainer. First full year of, uh, being a trainer in, uh, at Caymanus Park, won the title. Obviously running a stable in Ohio as well too. Dane Dawkins, not unfamiliar with champion titles as well. What have you got to say about the leader? Well, thank God for everything that came out good to you, you know? Lovely. Now let's talk about the race. Watching it at the start, did the gates go off a little bit earlier and it was a, it a couple of anxious moments there when the gates opened? Well, no, I wasn't anxious, you know. The trainer said to get a good break, and she break. She didn't break that sharp, so I kind of hustle her up a little and get there. I look inside, I see my danger going up, so, so I say, I can't leave 
make it go all the way from me and give me a lot of work to do. So I hurry up my ass, coming, leaving the five furl and going to the half mile. I saw three hours inside of me. I said, no, I can't stay here. I have to go inside because I'm going to get swung off the track. So I take a pull and go inside, leaving the three furl and I ask her. She didn't give him, she wasn't giving me anything. And I was saying, what, what, the, what the hell is this? <laughs> so I keep on push her, push her, give her a couple cracks. Come in the street, she started responding. So I said, Okay, mama, let's go then. <laughs> so we reached Furlong Pole, I changed my stick, and she started responding, give me an extra and an extra. Um, mama Mia started to come across, so I pull her, go back down inside, and I asked her again, give her a couple more strokes, and she yeah. responded. At that moment, what about a furlong out or whatever? As you said, it was going, and then you sort of like to get into a bit of a battle with your main dangerous booty licious, which was there, and it looked like you were going to go away and fight it out. And then you got that little sort of half bump or had to come in, and it looked like then that was switched her on, and she went, and booty licious said no more. Yeah, come, Mama Mia was kind of, because the space was open in the middle, so I said, okay, she's not getting up under under it, so let's try in the middle. When I take her off the rear, she starts responding. Same time, Mama Mia starts come out. So I said, all right, go back down inside. You've ridden many good three-year-olds. Obviously, you know, winning at Portmore is dominant as that. Puts her in good stead for the classics. How does she feel compared to the other really good three-year-olds you've ridden all throughout your career? Well, she's a good filly that I know. And more days coming on, she'll get better and better. And the big question I asked Jason, uh, how does she give you the feel getting out in distance? Obviously, that's the key question as we move through the classics. Yes, what I realise, she all, like she saved the best in the street. Yep, lovely. So good, good news moving forward. Very good luck, Dane. Thanks for your time. Congratulations. Thanks. Well done. Champion rider Dane Dawkins there, who wrapped up uh, more than a double for Jason DeCosta with a double exactor in the feature races. Uh, a great, exciting day at Caymanus, one race to go. Good luck to all the punters out there. Hope you can back the winner of the last. And he makes it to Mrs. Elizabeth DeCosta. Representing Carlton Watson, owner of the winner, Belita.